Hey guys, the J Stock here, and welcome back to This Week in WWE. So, what happened this week? Well, so it was some pretty good shit. Surprisingly, Raw had more interesting things on it than everything. Like, usually I have like a fair amount from SmackDown, a fair amount from NXT. This week, Raw carved it up. Fuck me. That was a, it was a pretty good damn show, if I do admit myself. Um, but guys, if you haven't seen it already, here's your warning. Head over to the WWE Network and make sure you watch. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's a lot brighter at the moment because we got a new type of spotlight type of thing. So that considering I don't have the time to do these in the day, it makes it so much easier to do it in the night, guys. Look at how bright that is. Yeah, look at how bright that is. And as you can see, there's a shadow in the background, but I prefer the shadow there than have shadowy eyes. <laughs> so, let's start with Raw. So we started off with, um, Shane was in the ring and he's talking big changes, like, um, people that have no talent are getting pushed, and people that have talent aren't getting pushed. Dude, you do realise Seth and Kevin Owens and Dean all have talent. They are all... Good. Durr. Um, but I think he's like meaning people like Alberto Dorito and Sheamus and you know just people that he doesn't like and shit like that I guess. Um, and like people like that smaller superstars like um, like probably like Neville and that aren't getting as much of a push and like Stardust. Um, and social outcasts maybe. <laughs> But, um, yeah, Vince came out and he had, like, a photo, and he was like, oh, I found this in my drawer, blah, 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 and he just dropped it and it shattered. The whole frame and glass just went, and pretty much he got Shane kicked out of the building, well, not, yeah, well, I guess you could say kicked out of the building, because he got security to come out, and then when the security came out, they got up in his face and told him, get the fuck out, bro, and he actually fought him off for a bit. And then he left. <laughs> but, well, he actually wanted Vince to get in there and with him, but yeah. Um, I'm kind of getting old. Like, I, I, I don't really care about Shane and Vince's little squabbles. Like, I want to see Shane versus Undertaker at WrestleMania. Because it would be ass whooping. Because Undertaker will kick his ass. <laughs> Even though I want Shane to take over Vince because Vince is kind of killing the show. Do you agree? Oh my. Um, next thing was Owens versus Neville uh, in a non-title match. They were actually on pretty well. Uh, Neville was carving up and then Owens ended up getting the win. Um, I, th I can't remember. I think it was a roll-up win, maybe. And then um, he was about to powerbomb Neville onto the apron and then who comes out? Zami Zan. And him and Owens beat the living shit out of each other. That's right. I said beat the living shit out of each other. And they pretty much, yeah. They, um, got the upper hand. Like, Owens was fighting back and then Zane got him over and flicked him over the rope because it never helped. And, yeah, so Zane came back to Raw. I'm guessing he kind of might be done with NXT soon. And might, might just stay on the main roster. Maybe. Um, then we had Brie vs. Summer. Um, Lana came out and she was kind of a bit of a distraction and she was just standing up on that thing and then uh, on the stage and then Summer rolled her up, got the win and then Brie got hit with the finisher by Lana. That's right. One of my favourites, Lana. She used, and to put um, insult to injury, used Bree's own move on her. She did the Bella Buster. Fuck yeah. So, suck shit Bree. Lana gotcha. And then, um, yeah, then we had uh, Dean and Triple H were talking in the ring. Pretty much just Triple H called him, like, he's not a roadblock to WrestleMania. He's more like a speed bump or a pothole. <laughs> he's a pothole. And, um, yeah, they, they pretty much went back and forth talking about that shit. And then Triple H said, oh, well, you got a match tonight against 
Bray Wyatt. And yeah, pretty much that was really the interesting part of that conversation. Then you had Ziggler and Barrett, uh, no, Ziggler pissed off Steph on Twitter. So as a punishment, she put him in a Survivor Series type of match. Again, so his opponents would be Barrett, Rusev, and Sheamus, and his partners, no one. So it was a one-on-three match, or well, three-on-one. And um, pretty much Ziggler was going all right throughout the match. He, he was a bit iffy every now and then getting his ass whooped. But he actually eliminated Bad News Barrett, or King Barrett. He eliminated him. And then he got bro kicked and <laughs> he got pinned and yeah. So really League of Nations destroyed him besides Ziggler getting at least one of them gone. Got it down to a two on one situation. Um, and yeah, they kind of stood over him and shit. Then you have Becky and Sasha versus Team Bad, which is Naomi and Tamina or... Naomi, as Naomi likes to call herself, well, them now, um, and pretty much it ended in, uh, I can't remember, I think Sasha won, she made Naomi, I, I believe it was Naomi, she made Naomi tap, and then Charlotte cheap shotted them from behind, like cheap shotted her from behind. Oh, no, 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 that's right. She, um, they're outside the ring. It was a, it was a double DQ. That's right. It wasn't a, um, I think, eh? Because I'm pretty sure it was a double DQ. No, it wasn't. That was the week before. Was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was, so this week she, um, she got in the ring after Sasha won and got a hand, uh, Sasha was getting her hand raised and she just drilled her in the back of the head and then she beat her up and then she beat Becky up and it stood over them. She wants to go to WrestleMania and she wants to beat them both. Um, but it's not gonna happen, Charlotte. I tell you that much, bitch. Because my two girls are gonna beat you. Um, and then the Golden Truth had another promo. Um, Pretty much it was about, oh yeah, that's right, our truth was walking up and he was holding a, uh, a pizza and he was dressed all up to the nines in like a pizza outfit, or like a, a delivery guy, and Mark Henry wanted it, but no, he was like, nah. <laughs> Get, he offered it uh, tr um, to Gold Dust and Gold Dust admitted that he was lactose intolerant, and he said, if I take a bite of that, my ass will be explosive. I'll have an explosive butt. And, um, pretty much, <laughs> they left, and they left the pizza there, and Mark Henry took it. He's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, New Day versus Y2AJ. Um, pretty much Chris Jericho lost the match because, you know, Jericho hogs the ring. It was a good match. It was a pretty, actually, it was a damn good match. They, they carved up together. All, all four members carved up. And, um, came down to Big E hitting the big ending on, um, on Jericho, getting the win, and then they left. AJ was helping him up. Jericho hits him with a fucking code breaker. And then, picks him up again. Another one. And then again, another one. Three code breakers. Like, seriously, dude, fuck off. I'm sick of you, Jericho. AJ is one of my top favourites with Seth and all them. And... You're gonna fucking come here. Yeah, fair, fair enough. You're pushing him, but really, free, free code breakers. And then to to add insult to injury, he grabs the Y two AJ T shirt and shoves it in Jer uh, in AJ's mouth. But um, maybe they're gonna have a match at WrestleMania. If they do, hopefully Jericho gets fucking drilled and injured, or at least shamed out of the building. Cause and it was all because he was jealous backstage. He was saying. That he should have been chanting, like the crowd should have been chanting his name, not AJ's. But oh well, AJ's gonna get you back, son. Um, and then we had the main event, which was Dean and Bray. It ended up in a um a DQ, so Dean won because the White family got involved. They were beating him up, hit him with a sister elbow, and then. 
Triple H's music. Oh yeah. Triple H came down, got in the ring. Surprisingly, him and Bray actually had a stare off, and Bray actually touched the belt like he actually wants to go for the belt, but he's gonna wait. So if Triple H retains at WrestleMania and Roadblock, then obviously Bray's gonna come for Triple H. Which means maybe DX will have to come back to help even the odds. Um, and yeah, then the Wyatt family left the ring and Triple H was going to beat um, Dean up. Went outside the ring, undid the announce table, come back in and Dean hit him with the Dirty Deeds. And that was it. <laughs> One Dirty Deeds and then Dean was standing over him with the belt like, Yeah, motherfucker, I'm going to fucking win this, but I'm not. Um, and then heading to... NXT now, pretty much, I thought it was going to be an actual show that, like, it always is, with tons of matches, which is what makes NXT so good. Really, it was just one match for the whole show. It was a good match, like, I'm not saying it was a bad thing, but it was just one match throughout the whole show. I wanted to see the number one contenders match to find out if the American Alpha would become the number one contenders for the Revival's titles, which is Dash and Dawson. But... It was just Sami Zayn versus Samoa Joe in a two out of three falls. So it was a pretty damn good match. They went back and forth. They were beating the living shit out of each other. They were destroying, like Zayn was getting thrown around the ring. Even he even hit Joe with a couple of suplexes, surprisingly. And an exploder, um, exploder suplex into the turnbuckle. That was pretty good. Um, First fall ended up with Joe winning it with the knuckle buster finisher that he has, and he got the win by pin. Second fall, um, Joe tapped to the Koji clutch, I think it is called, and then the third fall, Samoa Joe won. He um, pretty much choked out. Um, yeah, he choked out Zayn. Got the win. So Finn Balor versus Samoa Joe at NXT Takeover Dallas, which was, should be a good match. And I'm looking forward to it, and I'll definitely be doing a review and result video on NXT pay-per-views too, if you guys wanted to know about that, considering I haven't done one of those ones yet. I will be doing results and predictions for the NXT pay-per-views as well. Um, but yeah, so pretty much, it was a pretty good damn, like I, I'd say that was a match of the year type of thing for NXT, but then again they have really good matches, so it's kind of hard to choose one. Um, then we go to SmackDown. Zayn and Neville versus um, Owens and Miz because of what happened on Miz TV. Um, they kind of all broke out. Miz attacked. Um, he attacked Zayn because Zayn told him to get lost because it was like the whole thing was between him and Owens when Owens and him were having a talk and Miz wanted to get involved. Then Owen, um, Neville came out to even the odds and shit like that. And it's like. Zayn wants a shot for the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. Never wants a shot. But Miz also said, you don't deserve it. I deserve it. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, Zayn ended up beating Miz with the um, with, with his um, finisher in the corner. And yeah, it was a pretty damn good match. Owens kind of left Miz high and dry and walked off. And that's why Miz got the loss. Um, Golden Truth had another promo, which it's kind of getting close to the fact of them teaming, because after I like, Goldust was in the toilet, had no toilet paper. We all know what that feels like. And um, he was asking, you know, is anyone out there? You know, can you give me some toilet paper? <laughs> and um, Goldust, ca uh, Goldust was looking out, and after he comes in, and he goes, you got what I need, and I got what you need. And he holds up the toilet paper, and Pretty much, uh, Goldust is like, no, I still don't, I still don't believe that you want to be my partner and shit like that. And then he went back to shitting in the toilet. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it's getting pretty close now, I'd say. I'd probably say after Roadblock, who knows, maybe at Roadblock we might have them actually have a tag match. Maybe. Um, then Brie had a match against Summer Rae where she actually beat Summer Rae this time and Lionel was sitting on an announce table. And then she hit the that thing where she goes, scream it, and then she fucking runs and knees him in the face. She did that to uh, Summer, and then she she ended up getting um, 
So she hit that, and as she hit that, as she was running to hit that, uh, Lana slid in the ring. She turned around, got kicked in the gut. Another belly buster. That's right, Lana's got your number, Brie. Bitch. So, yeah, Lana's laid her out twice. Who knows, maybe we might see Lana have her in ring debut at WrestleMania against Brie, and she better win because why build her up to have her first match at WrestleMania if she's just gonna lose to Brie? So, hopefully, she has her first match at WrestleMania and she beats the shit out of Brie Bella and makes Brie retire. Yes, yes, yes. Now, that would be good. But, um,. Uh, the main event was Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, and the Usos versus the White, all four members of the White family. Um, pretty much the White family always destroy whoever they verse in the four-on-four -four match. They were destroying them. It was going pretty well. Um, and at the end, it ended up with everyone kind of cleaning each other out, like just knocking the shit out of each other. And then Dean ended up hitting the dirty deeds on Eric Rowan after reversing a lot of big hits from him that he actually didn't get hit with, he was dodging them left, right and centre and hit him with the Dirty Deeds, one and he goes in the roadblock with, me uh, with momentum which should be good, um, I'll do my prediction video straight after this and I'll put it on straight after this video clears up guys so, if you like this video and you liked this week of what happened in this week's WWE with the Jace Dog make sure you drop a like and you drop it hard, but not too hard. Don't break your computer. And guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links are in the description down below. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button and spread the word of the JSTOG to everybody you know. And as always, guys, stay awesome. The JSTOG is out of here. See you.